Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And the question is this, how do I merge Google, account, Google calendars from different accounts? I'm gonna show you what you can do in this video. All right, so here's my primary testing account. This is called Burris Consulting at Gmail. It's for all these videos I do for you. And these are all of my own calendars. This is my main calendar. Here's a birthday calendar with these birthdays come from my Google contacts. There's reminders and tasks. Those are the core calendars that you have in, in Gmail or Google Workspace. Then I have a holiday calendar that I'm subscribed to. You can look at settings. You scroll down here and you see I'm subscribed to it. And I can unsubscribe. However, well, if you want to merge multiple calendars together from other accounts, you basically, the number one way is to share them. So I'm going to show you how to share calendars and so you can merge them together. But then I'm going to give you the other option of exporting and importing. So let's talk about sharing. So I'm going to go get a, I'm going to share this calendar. Let me go get a calendar. Let me go get a calendar. So here's a calendar I have. It's my one of my volunteer calendars. It's called SCORE. And I want to share this calendar so that Burris Consultant Gmail can merge it over top of his. Here's how you do this. You go right here to the calendar. This is the name of this primary calendar. You click the three dots and you hit settings and sharing. In sharing, you click on share with specific people. And it's already shared with you know, my main business account, but I'm going to add this one. I'm going to add, I'm going to type in Burris consulting at gmail.com now here's my options now I have four different options see only free busy so they can only see where I have holes in my calendar see all event details they can see the holes in my calendar and they can see the details of where I have something on my calendar I can let them make changes to events Furthermore, the most powerful option is I can help, they can make changes and manage sharing. This is the ultimate uh, way of sharing a calendar. This is the easiest way. Let me share this way and show you what I get. And I'm gonna hit send. Now, it sent an email to that account. Let's go back to that account. Here it is right here. Look at my email. Let's go back up to my email. Look, I just got an email from Teddy.Burris at School Volunteer. We'll see what that says. It says, we're, we're writing to let you know it's giving you access to view free busy on his calendar. Add this calendar. Add calendar. Teddy.Burris at scorevolunteer.org. I'm going to hit add. Now look what just showed up. So you see other calendars. I have Teddy.Burris at score. I can turn it on or turn it, on, turn it off or turn it on. And it says I'm bit that person's busy. Doesn't tell me what he's doing, just says he's busy on these two times. And that overlays the, the pink or the red stuff. It's actually red pink when it's passed. Let's go to the next day. You can see that that is not my calendar. I click on it, it tells you what calendar it is. Teddy Dot Burris is score volunteer. Now, again, it's overlaid on my primary calendar here the BCI testing. And again, I can turn it off so I don't see it. Turn off holidays, I don't see that. Okay, so that's show, showing free busy. Let me change the way I shared it with him. Hang on a second. So I have full access to this uh, Google Workspace domain, which by the way, work the same will work for Gmail. The only difference is some Google Workspace administrators won't let you share your calendar completely with others. This domain, I have the ability to do it. So I'm gonna add people. I'm gonna type in Burris Consulting, right there it is. And I'm gonna give them make changes to events, actually make changes to events and manage sharing, full permission. And I'm gonna hit send. Now, I'm gonna go back to that account, go look at email. And there's an email from Teddy Burris. Um, is has shared an account, account calendar with you. Click on that and it's shared a calendar and I can click right here where it says add this calendar. Goes over to my calendar. Do you want to add the calendar, Teddy Burris? Add. Now it's going to get really populated quick. Boom. Lots of stuff. Teddy Burris or TL Burris at BurrisConsulting.com has given BurrisConsulting at gmail.com Full permissions to his calendar to do everything he wants to do, 
manage everything in the calendar, delete events. Look, I can, I can do this. Click on that and I can delete it. This all, I can delete that any entry on that calendar. And remember, if I, if I turn that off, all I see is this. But there's right down here, the Teddy Burris calendar under my calendars, full permission. If you don't have full permission, it's under other accounts. It's listed as my calendar when you have full permission to it. Now, be very careful doing that, but this is a great way to merge calendars, to put from different accounts, to show them all on one Google Calendar. But be very purposeful about doing that. Sometimes it's not the right thing to do. I'm gonna get rid of it. Now, let's talk about the second way of merging calendars. The second way to merge calendars would be to export your calendar and then import it into another calendar. So how do you do that? You go to Settings, under Settings, you go over here to Calendar, Import and Export. So from here, I go to Export, and I say you can download all calendars you can view and modify in a single archive, Export. And it creates a zip file. So that zip file should be an ICS file. It is, it's an ICS file. And it actually exports it out, just to show it to you, exports out Birthdays and Burris Consulting. So I can import Take that file and I can go import that into another calendar. Typically any calendar, because it's an ICS file, but you can import that into, at the very least, a Gmail or Google Workspace calendar. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna create a new calendar just for test. Now I'm gonna go down here to import and export. I'm gonna import. I'm going to add to calendar. I want to import, add it to testing. It could be any Google account, but I'm going to do it in this one just to show you. I'm going to select the file, go to downloads, go to, um, which one is it? Is it this one? Right here, ICS, and open. And then import. Three out of three events, hit OK. Now, if I go back to my calendars, let's turn off this and just show this. There's those, that's what I imported. I'm looking just at the testing calendar, which again, this can be on any Gmail or Google Workspace account. Those right there are the same. Turn this off as what's right there. But I imported them into this calendar, which again, can be in any Google Workspace or Gmail account. So bottom line, there's two ways to merge calendars from different Google or Gmail accounts. Number one, share your calendar. Share it in different ways so that one account can see what you want them to see. The second way to do it is to export your calendar, create an ICS file, and import that calendar into another Google or Gmail account, or even into Outlook. But importing is not gonna really merge them. It's only gonna take the current entries and put those into that calendar. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.